Nice to see you, Peter. Where are you going to? I'm even coming to your house. I want you to help me out. Please I need some help from you. Please stop it. Every time, I need help this, I need help that, are you the only person in this world? Somebody will not talk to you, without you asking the person for help, it's time I stop greeting you. But you don't know what I want to say, please listen to what I have to say, you know you are my best friend. I don't want to listen, because I know where it will end. The money I gave you last time, you have not repaid back, still you are coming to to ask me for help again. Listen I don't want to see you in my house again, in fact I'm not around. But I'm not the one asking problem, to come. That is not my business. I'm going. My friend is right I'm not the only one in this world. Why is my own different? Why am I facing too much challenges? How do I come out of this problem? Who will help me come out of this problem? I wish I know. This problem of life when are you going to be over? Only when Jesus is involved. Why are you worried? Why do you feel so rejected? Have you forgotten that Jesus died for you? The problem I'm having is too much for me. I don't know why I'm carrying a lot of burden. I need help but can't find one. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. The good kind of life is a life that is totally dependent on God. God is your burden bearer, and therefore, there is absolutely no need to burden yourself with the issues of life. If you have knowledge of opening scripture, and you are still carrying your burden, then you are demonstrating, that you want to be a God unto yourself. Our responsibility is to cast the burden on God, in prayer, and he will then sustain us. Jesus Christ buttresses this point, when he said all who are heavy laden, should come to him, and he will give them rest. Matthew 11 verses 28, God knows how to take care of his children and he is always ready to rescue the righteous, from any kind of struggle. But sir, I am a sinner, and I know that God does not listen to a sinner, so how do I cast my burden then? You are the reason Jesus came, his reason for dying is to set you free from sin, all you have to do is to admit that you are a sinner, confess your sin, and promise never to go back to it again, and he will forgive you. We need to learn, to cast the burden of sin and our physical needs on Jesus Christ, because we are the reason why he came. Yes I'm okay, with Jesus I'm okay. Are you worried, on where to take your problem to? Are you sick and tired of your condition? Are you facing too much of problem? What about Jesus? Have you forgotten that you are, the reason why he came? He came to set you free from that problem. You are into, all you need to do is to accept him as your Lord and personal savior, repent from your sin, promise him you will never go back to them again. Then forget about the problem, and he will take care of it. If he can die for you, your problem is nothing to him, to take care of, give Jesus chance in your life, that's all you need to do, repent, reject sin, and come to Jesus, is that too hard, to do? He said he will forgive you, no matter how deep and grave your sin is, because he loves you so much, come to Jesus, make up your mind to love him back, is for your own good, remember he love you first, and always loving you. Dear Beloved, are you still carrying your burdens? Turn to Jesus Christ. He is always there for you, give him chance to solve your problem, for you, let him be your Lord and personal Savior. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe, like and share. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you.